Tell Dwayne a little to his left. Just roll around a little bit. Touch to your left, Dwayne. There you go. Okay, here we go. Go. Close door one. Go, find that infinity, find the infinity. Shut! Chad and Keanu, they have a special bond. They've been together for longer than I've actually been even in the business. They have a fun relationship, you know, they get to joke around. They're training with each other and one's teaching the other and so on and so forth. But now you have your stunt double kind of like, you know, directing you, which is not, I don't know if I've ever heard about that ever. Yeah, you open this one. Yeah. And there you go. That'll be our end. You see that kind of trust and that sort of brotherhood that they have and have had for so long. And they're, they're so much alike in so many ways. It's fun, it's fun for me to watch them. But get, do the roll. Draw, look, and go. Okay. Chad's creating something that the world hasn't quite seen yet. Keanu does some of the most amazing stunts for an actor. Like, they are a great tandem with great vision. They discuss everything every day. To watch them work together, you know, Chad and, and Keanu is, is, it's not even work anymore. We all know each other so well, so it's a lot of fun. I was working on a show, I was working on NYPD Blues, and I had a call saying, uh, hey, you might make a good double. For Keanu Reeves, you should go to this audition for a sci-fi movie. I got hit by a car, like, at 6 in the morning, <laughs> and then tried to make it to the auditions by 11. Of course you did. Yeah, and I showed up in jeans and a t-shirt, and that's where I walked into this big warehouse in Burbank. And I think you were doing the dojo fight rehearsing. I'm 90% yeah. sure it was the dojo fight. Maybe, with, uh, yeah. with Chu. Ah, Chu. Uh, Chu. Chu, one of the, uh, the Chinese choreographers. Keanu just going off on this huge kung fu piece of choreography. I'm like, oh, I guess I've come to the right place. It was yeah. like we were kind of like creeping out, just peeking at you from like, What's that guy doing? Yeah, like, oh, hey, that's the guy from Bill and Ted's. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I met Yung Wu Ping and his guys. I met Keanu really briefly. And then I met the Wachowskis. And then I got put through uh, a good 45 minute hour auditions on the first Matrix. So. Yeah. I mean, I'd only done two action films before The Matrix, so I was used to doing training, you know, some fight training and some weapons training. Uh, but certainly the idea of, like, here's, you know, three months and learn movie kung fu and throws and choreography and, and, and wire work, you know. Hard to fake the splits. Yeah, you can't, you know, you can't, those side kicks and... The American, all the wire we had done, I'd done like the flips and the wire and some of the routes, but the actual kung fu wire work was so rare in mainstream stunt work in America that we are on the same learning curve on that. So he'd give me pointers and stuff like that too, because he'd been doing it much longer at that point. I just remember, I just walked in, I was sitting in the lobby of my hotel in Sydney, and he just came shuffling in, yeah. and he just kind of looked at me like, hey, I'm like, hey, you just put down this bottle of wine on the counter. <laughs> like, good job. And he walked away, I'm like, oh, I had a bottle of wine. It was great. So I still have it. I still have it. Oh, really? yeah. So that's kind of how, uh, yeah, we got initiated. A bottle of pen folds and a week of kung fu in the dojo sequence. Yeah. Boom, he goes down. It's like, oh, shit, this guy peels. After the first Matrix, they allowed me to be one of the stunt coordinators. and. Actually gave me a camera a couple of times, so they started the filmmaking process, which led into a, a fantastic second unit action director career. When you started, you know, eighty-seven eleven action yeah. design, was that born right out of revolutions? It was, it, it was right after revolutions. Yeah, it was like within the year after revolutions. Chad and Dave and eighty-seven eleven were definitely an advancement and an evolution of storytelling and where action is in storytelling. Kind of coming in with the wire technologies and different cameras. That idea of action and story was really a strong part of what 8711 helped to sort of make modern. And you've seen that the studios and producers have like said, yeah, we need those guys. Chad was so literate in terms of action and cinema, storytelling. There's a, a vast knowledge there. That's part of why when John Wick came to me, I thought that Wick could be uh, something that would be attractive to him. I think we both share a kind of like roll up your sleeves and go to work. Best way to do it. You know, and it's not it's like, happen. yeah. It's gonna happen on set, let's go. You know, if we're speaking creatively, like even early days on Wick, 
you know, the times that we spent in, in the office in New York, really just kind of going through story and dialogue casting and everything and kind of you sharing your vision. A lot of Japanese scotch. John Wick Chapter 2, we worked even more, had more involvement creatively in terms of story and text and dialogue and stuff. You look, everything, you look, feel, look, vibe, you know. yep, even the set pieces. Jack, you've seen Toby, right? I see it, yeah. So when I get up, I can tell him a look over. Absolutely. You know, our taste is, is pretty aligned, so I actually, there's never been any question. It's just like, so what are we gonna do? I really like, just a simple scene like Gianna. Keanu came up with the original idea. Uh, that we were just sitting in the office in 87 11 one day and he kind of just i got a pitch for you he came walking in with excitement we're like oh what about this and he explained the scene it's in a bathtub i'm gonna get her but she's gonna cut her own wrist i was just like oh my god that's genius and we'll do it like this and, like, and just from that one little speech how it came out in the movie so that's my favorite one like to collaborate and really <laughs> pull off and see how it came out justin yeah i got it for go it. action john wick chapter two is is Chad's first film, right? Second film, but I mean, it's the first film that he directed. And so it's the first of that version of, of him as a director. You can see, like, you know, he's amazing at what he does. Just right when he says go, just kind of give me that. Damn. From the artists and the crews and everyone, you know, follows that captain, that visionary. Chad has a definite, you know, practical understanding and a creative vision, a really great sense for story and pacing and knowing the audience. And it's cool to be working with someone like that. You know, very rarely do you find someone with capabilities exceeding limitations. The actor or the cast member becomes the key pin or the keystone to it your film methodology is based on that keystone. So if that keystone is only a five, that's as much as you're gonna get. If your keystone can remember 50 moves in a row, do long takes, remember all his lines and act while he's doing the action sequence. John Wick wouldn't have worked with anybody but. How many directors really have freedom true creative choice in an action sequence. They're not trying to hide anything. They're not trying to cut around things. They're not trying to hide wires, stunt doubles. Good cut. If I have all that, basically my own virtual camera setup, if I have an actor or my key so that can do everything, and I choose when to cut. So now when I go back and I choose between four edits, all four edits are great. It's just it's my choice. It's a real choice. Cut. Beautiful. Nice. 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 We knew in the catacombs where we were cutting. It was just the logistics and the physics of the set pieces. I'm not, okay, we'll take it up to here and then because he drops the gun and he trips over his shoelaces, I have to cut here. Yes, I do that sometimes. I would say that there's two things going on, the creativity and the problem solving. I think that's what a lot of we all inherit from the vision. And open up to me so you want to see that boom. Yeah. It's like how do we how do we do it? And then what could be cool within that? We we did steal the expression from the witch house kids is the best way to fake being good is to just be good. Working with Chad is fantastic. My side of it's really cool to watch him do his thing, get a chance to do his vision. That's a wrap on John Wick 2. And to see people respond to his vision. He just goes full throttle the whole way. Whatever it is, he embraces it full heartedly. He comes in with an empty cup and just soaks it all in. Chad and Keanu, well, they've been together since the Matrix movies. They've known each other so well, and they've been the same character so many times. What was that movie? Uh, thumb, thumb Sucker. Thumbsucker. Thumb sucker. We did, I did a cool bicycle stunt for I fell off a bicycle for the thumb sucker. That was up in Oregon somewhere. Yeah, I like those little things like that. So for them to be the same character so many times, they're really building this vision together. <laughs> well done. Well done. We don't want to work with anybody else. <laughs>